So you want to turn yourself into an anime My girl, but he saw our last video and said, Man, I don't have a powerful enough computer to do this. But when you did have a powerful computer, but it was an AMD or a Mac, and those aren't compatible. Well, I'm happy to tell you that you can now run this software in Google Collab. So you now no longer need a powerful computer to run this. So I'm going to show you how to run the software on Google Collab, how to set it up, and how to add your own model. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. So to start, there's a link down in the description below to W. Otica's voice changer on GitHub. And this link specifically will link you to this collab page. Now, once you're here, you're just going to want to hit open in collab. And once you do that, it's going to open up this new Google collab document. Now, as it says right here, this is not perfect, but it is usable. So if it's not, you know, generating the perfect results, we might just have to wait for it to become a little bit more optimized, but it should still work. Now, before we get started on anything else, we first need to change this runtime to the GPU. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and up to the top left, hit runtime and hit change runtime type. Now it should automatically be selected at T4 GPU with Python 3. This is what we want. If for some reason yours is not that, make sure you do it. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit save. Now, if you are paying for more premium GPUs, you can go ahead and test them out, but I am not. So I'm just going to use the T4 GPU. Now, once that is done, we can scroll down to this first option here. Now, this is to connect to Google Drive. Technically, you don't have to do this. It's optional, but I would highly recommend that you do it because if you're looking to do this more than once, you're just going to need this anyway. So just go ahead and click this run button and then it's going to give you a warning saying, hey, it's not run by Google. Don't complain to us if you get a virus. Hit run anyway. Now it's going to say, hey, permit this notebook to access your Google Drive files. Yes, that's the whole point of what we're doing. So then you hit connect to Google Drive and then it's gonna open up with this choose an account to sign in. So you just choose your Google account and then make sure you hit allow. And then once you do that, it should load. It's just gonna take a few minutes and then it'll be done. And there we go, it took 43 seconds. Now this next one is step number one, clone the repository and install dependencies. You have to do this. So just click this start button. Now this one will take a bit longer. So just wait for it to have this little green check mark and then you'll be good to go. Now I should say before you do this, make sure your Google Drive has three gigabytes available storage storage so that way it can fully install it's a little over 2.5 gigabytes so just make sure with any updates or you know if you're uploading your own custom models just make sure you have three gigabytes now once that is done you're going to be presented with two options you can either start the server using ng rock and you can see this is recommended or you can start the server using a local tunnel now i'm going to show you how to do both because this one is an alternative to this if it doesn't end up working and I was having some issues with this one in particular. So I actually had to use this one, but I will show you how to use both in case this one ends up working because this is the recommended method. So first, you're going to want to go to NG Rock using this link. So just open this in a new tab. It's going to say you're leaving collab. Just go ahead and click here. And then you're going to want to sign up for an account. I would recommend using GitHub or Google because then you don't have to verify your email and it's just as a lot simpler. Make sure you accept the terms, create account. It's going to ask if you want to enable two-factor authentication. I'm not going to, but you probably should. Now, once you're on the homepage, after you've signed in, you're going to want to go over to the left to your auth token, and then you're going to see a code right here. Go ahead and copy that. Now, once you're back on collab, go ahead and just paste in that token that you just copied. And like I said, if you didn't use Google or GitHub, make sure you verify your email. Otherwise, this will 100% not work. And also go ahead and select your region, at least whichever is closest to you. So if you're in the US, they only have one option. But if you're anywhere else, just choose the closest one. Now, once this is all done, just go ahead and up here and hit the start button. Now, this will take one to two minutes. So just let it load. And then eventually you'll see down here, that it'll have a link and that's when you'll know you'll be done. And there we go. It says our server is ready. And then you could just click this. Now it'll open up in a new tab. And theoretically, if it'll work for you, then that's where you can click, uh, you know, continue or open the app and then it'll just run. But for some reason, it hasn't been working for me. I don't know why um, I've spent hours trying to figure this out, but it just is not working. So if that works for you, great. You can go ahead and skip ahead to this time code 
If not, I'll show you how to use the other option. I'm just going to stop this because we're not using it anymore. So to use this one, you just click the start button. It's really easy and simple. And this one's actually quicker to run. Um, so it's already done. So you just click this link. And then once you click that link, it'll bring you to this page. But you see, oh no, you need an endpoint IP. Well, just go back here and copy this IP link. And then just go ahead and paste that right into here and click submit. And then you'll see, hey, it's working. Make sure you click allow microphone and hit start. Now, once we're in here, let's just go ahead and click on a model to make sure it's working. Now, keep in mind, this takes forever to load. It takes like two minutes for it to like select a model. So don't click, you know, all of these a bunch of times. Just click one once and let it load. It'll take a hot sec. And then eventually once it is done, then we're good. So going back up to the top of the collab sheet, here are their recommended settings. Now, if you want to use an index with a model, Go ahead and follow these settings. I personally don't use an index, so I'm gonna follow these. So it's said to use RMVPE Onyx, and then it's said to have a chunk at least above, I think 96. I like 320, that's just a pretty solid number for me. And then an extra of uh, whatever this one is, a super big one. And also make sure you are selected on Tesla T4, that is the GPU. Do not use the CPU, it will not work. And then make sure you choose the input and output of whatever you are using. Mine's gonna look a little different because I have a lot going on. Just choose whatever microphone you are using. And if you're wanting to use this in Discord and you're following the other tutorial, just make sure you choose the cable input. And it's also good practice to make sure that you change the crossfade to 4096 in the advanced settings. Now I'm gonna turn up the tune a little bit to about 12, that works pretty well with my voice. And then I'm gonna boost the output because it's a little bit low when I tested it before. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit start. And it might take a few seconds to load up here, but eventually we will start to hear the voice come out. And you heard there was just a jumbled mess. That's because it's trying to catch up. Mess. That happens on That's the computer version as well. That happens on the computer version as well. But you can see my voice is being rendered in real time with just about a one to two second delay. Just about and it's not using my own personal GPU. It's not using my own personal GPU. Now you can go back to the original video that we made on this to see how to fine tune it and all that stuff because it's basically the same. Same. Stuff because it's basically the but yeah it should be working for you now let's say you want to add your own model it's basically the same process as the desktop version so you're just going to go ahead and up here and click edit now once you're on the edit selection just go ahead and choose a blank one and click upload and then choose the model file path and like i said before if you need a refresher on where to download these go ahead and check our video out the original video where we talk about this i'm just going to choose my grua model over here and just do the dot pth and then if your model has an index file, also choose that. Then click upload, and then it should upload. Now in the process of uploading that, it actually crashed my Google Collab. So please be aware that these do crash relatively easily because it is a very intense program and there's a lot going on. So it is prone to crashing. If yours crashes, you cannot just click the run button again that's red. It will not work. Now, what you're going to have to do is refresh this page. But before doing that, I'm actually going to go up to file and save a copy in drive because it's going to save all of the details that I've inputted. So it's just going to make this my own personal, uh, I guess, Google collab file where all of my settings are already saved. And you can see up here, it is a copy of the real time voice changer and down here, my token is still here. So that's how you know that your settings have been saved. So whether it crashes or you just leave and then you come back the next day and you're like, hmm, let me go, you know, do this voice changer again. You got to run through this whole process again. But since it's a copy, it shouldn't take as long. So I'm just going to hit connect to Google Drive, this play button first. And that's going to be the first thing that I have to do. And you do have to run through this process again. And then you're going to do this next one. Now, if you're using NG Rock, you just start this next one. If you're not, you can just start with the local tunnel. I'm going to try NG Rock again to see if it wants to work for me this time. And hey, would you look at that? It actually worked for me this time. Crazy. It might have been something with my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi did disconnect. Um, so... Maybe it was just my Wi-Fi being stupid. So uh, this is how you use the NG Rock. Go ahead and visit site. Make sure you allow your microphone and hit start. And isn't that crazy? It's actually loading for me because I, I spent so long trying to get it to work. It just didn't. So I just went ahead and reset all my settings there. And let's go ahead and run this just to make sure it's working. I, I don't imagine it wouldn't work, but just to absolutely confirm. So it sounds like it's working here now that so it's it loaded up a little like bit. It's working here now that it's loaded up a little bit. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and try to add that model again. Now, as a reminder, you just go up to edit and then you choose a blank one, hit upload. 
and then select your files. Now, because I'm not using an index file, I just don't think it really adds much. I am going to choose not to upload one, so that way it's not using extra resources on uploading something I'm not going to use. So hopefully with that, it's not going to break on me. So let's just try uploading and hope that it doesn't crash this time. <laughs> and it looks like it's loading, so I think we're in the clear. And there we go, it is uploaded. Now I'm also gonna change the icon because I like doing that. So once our model is there, we can hit close and now it is here. So we just click on it to change the model. And again, it's going to take a hot sec. Don't click it multiple times. You don't want to overwrite the system. And there we go. Now go ahead and put your settings in and hit save. So that way it actually saves them. And then let's give it a try. Let's see if the guru is as good online let's as it is on my computer. Online computer so now that it's caught up it should go nicely so now that up it should go nicely okay that's pretty good now you will notice that there okay, is quite good. a bit of so choppiness you will notice that there is quite a bit of this. like it seems like it just skips a few words like it just skips a now that's going to happen because this is streaming no, from the web streaming to your local from computer from the web to your local computer so it sort of depends on how good your wi-fi so is on how good your wi-fi is now i'm supposed to have really good internet but no, for some reason, it just doesn't really act internet, like, it's really good doesn't like it's really good internet. It is pretty choppy for me here. So it is happy for me here but yeah i'll have to mess around with this and so will but you yeah, you'll have, have to see how it works with you and you know sort of how good your wi-fi is will depend on it but it's pretty cool that we can now run this voice changer cool just on google collab changer. and you don't have to just have a google super powerful pc now for those of you wondering sort of what this installs on your google drive you get two files you got your voice changer file and this is where all of the voice changer stuff is stored and then if you download the notebook, this is where the notebook is stored. Now, starting off here, if you're wanting to reopen up the Google Collab, just go ahead and double click this. It'll open up in a new tab and you can start from there. And then just taking a look in the voice changer, here's all those files. And you will see over here, it uses about three gigabytes granted. I have a, a, a couple things in this uh, account. I don't really use this account, so um, there's not a whole lot stored in the Google Drive, but there are a couple things, but it's not a whole lot. So yeah, it's a, it's a little over 2.5 gigabytes. So just make sure you have three uh, available to you. Now, a lot of people were asking in the previous video how you delete the voice changer. You simply just delete the folder. So if it's on Google Drive, you just delete this folder, move to trash. If you're wanting to delete, to delete the physical one, you just delete the folder where you put the files in on the, the physical one. Now, I know I'm going to get this question a lot because I've already gotten it a lot. Um, people are going to be asking, hey, can you run this on mobile? Can you run this on Android? I personally do not have an Android device to test because theoretically, if it's running on Google Collab, um, you know, you can run it theoretically on an Android, right? I personally cannot test. I haven't seen anyone test. I don't know if you can run this on an Android or even how the input and output system would work. I just don't know if it's feasible. So you'll have to give it a shot to see, you know, if it's even possible on an Android. Yeah, just go ahead and give it a try. It may or may not work. If it's going to work, this is how it's going to. It's not going to, you know, you can't install it. Um, like the other way onto an Android. So just go ahead and give this a try. You know, if it works, it works. If not, you know, too bad. We'll have to wait uh, for it to get a mobile port. But yeah, I believe that is everything that you need to know. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as possible. Although if it's a question that I've already answered, I may or may not respond because just dig in the comments for it. And to discover more cool AI tools like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.